majority of our scholars uh, come from uh, financially challenged background. But as you know, in Kenya, financial challenges go with a lot of uh, other challenges, lifestyle challenges. And essentially, uh, the living conditions, the environment they live, uh, the traditional parenting uh, most times is not possible because of influence. And the best uh, that uh, these uh, scholars receive is the mentorship, parenting, and love from the principals, the teachers, and the champion mentors. That is transformation. Wherever you go, you must be an agent of transformation, of good change, so that when you are long gone, it will be said, Mary Ndongo was here, and she touched so many persons, and she transformed the space. And that's what we are called to do. For you to be able to transform the space you are at, you must be in the realization that you have what it takes to do that. The self-confidence, the self-belief, and the appreciation that you don't know it all, all the time, and you need the next person to take, a to take you along. We are aware that this is a rigorous process. For the young scholars to have uh, been identified to participate in this noble course, indeed, we want to congratulate you because it is a rigorous process. And indeed, it is in the success of the model that has been implemented by Equity Group Foundation that the government of Kenya decided to hand over the stewardship of ELIMO program to the Equity, Bank, Equity Group Foundation to run the program on behalf of the government of Kenya through the Ministry of Education. Everything, in everything, what is expected of you, what will help you serve through the ways, it is self-life. So I want to encourage you to work hard in life, um, ensure that you do it without being supervised by anybody, and beyond the limits will be your success 